You're working on this show, City on a Hill. Yeah. And it takes place in Boston. It does. Which is my hometown. I realize that. So my first question is, are they taking care of you? In yes. My hometown? When you, when you, the times you've been there for shooting, I know you don't do all the shooting there. Yeah, no, I, I, I love working in Boston. Um, coincidentally, this is like the sixth thing I've done there. I did... Mystic River and uh, I know you've done so many Black things. Mass yes, and, you've done so uh, many things that take place in Boston. A lot, lot of stuff. Um, yeah. And so, uh, you know, I've also been in Boston, uh, the FBI. This is my third Boston FBI guy. So even they, there's even like that, you know. So you're getting typecast. Yes. And you're not from Boston. I'm not from, I'm from Philly. No. I'm from Philly. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, and but nothing ever like b b things. Unfortunately, you know, uh, it's good for Boston, but you know, Philly, Philly, the, the people don't set things in Philly that often. So, right? I, so I, right? It, they need it, to, yeah. There needs yeah, to be a guy, an FBI guy, who's like guarding the Liberty Bell. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Rock, guard, what, Rocky was enough. <laughs> That's enough. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, yeah. Done. Yeah, I've been you guarding that Liberty Bell. I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I was over the Wawa, got myself a hoagie and a coke. Yeah. What, what kind of coke? Diet coke? <laughs> <laughs> Every week they've stolen the Liberty Bell and you have to get it back. <laughs> hey, get away from that Liberty Bell. <laughs> There's already one crack in it. <laughs> I don't know. So you got that. Obviously, you've got that. Do you have the... Uh, do you have the... Because the Boston accent is so hard, it's hard to do. It's really hard to do. It's and hard. people focus in. There's some... Actors who famously they do a movie in Boston say, "I'm not even going to try it." They'll yes. Just like, uh, yes. I uh, try it. You try, yeah. <laughs> no, but you do it. You you do a pretty good job. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, for that. you do I, a very good job. Well, you know, I I do my best. The one thing I know for sure is that nobody from Boston is going to like my Boston accent. People from Boston don't even like it when a guy from Boston does a Boston accent. No. <laughs> No, people from Boston almost in a weird way root against people from Boston who've left Boston. They're like, would you leave Boston for? And you're like, because I went out into the world. I still come back here all the time. You know, I've just resigned myself to that. And uh, I find that I try to think of it. Listen, you know what I always think about is, you remember Car Talk? Yeah. It was yeah. on uh, NPR. It was a great, for those of you who don't remember, it was like a great... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a great show with these two brothers, right? right. And, and, and they would just sit around, they'd talk about cars, and it's hilarious and stuff. And, but when you really analyze their two accents, they sounded very, very different. Yes. And they were two guys that were raised in exactly the same household. So it just goes to show you that, you know, from one side of town to the other, there's no, there's no absolute... This is what I keep telling myself. I am, I, am, I am one of six kids raised in Boston. I don't understand anything any of them are saying. The <laughs> there you go. Yeah. What's your favorite word to say in a Boston accent? Well, I'd say <laughs> sucker. <laughs> really good. I... Sure. He's a <laughs> sucker. Yeah. What you if know. the scene doesn't call for that word? Put it in anyway. <laughs> Put it in anyway. Yeah, but that, what would you like to eat? That, that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> How would you like that cook? How would you like that cook? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That word has a certain zing in any dialect, though, you know? I'm sorry. Not in Britain. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as good. It sounds pretty good. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Are there any There's kids Mary in the I feel, I feel yeah. bad now. That that kind of leaped out of my mouth. I didn't really think about it. It's all right. It's all right. You know, all this show is primarily for yeah. children, by the way. Yeah. These people, this whole audience is on work release. Yeah, okay. they heard good. worse. Good. But you know, it's interesting because I, uh, my character curses a lot. Yeah. So I get to say that along with pretty much every other curse possible. And uh, curses do work great in a Boston motherfucking <laughs> accent. I mean, it's just... <laughs> and, 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 yeah. uh, but the other day, the, they came to me in the post-production, and they said, listen, we need to clean this up for the foreign markets. Mm. And let me tell you, that was a lot of work. I'm, I'm, I'm on... We've done 10 episodes. I'm on episode 8 now. And it's probably... Uh, in the course of a, one episode, I probably have 50 lines that I have to change. And the things that they come up with to replace him, you know, <laughs> is just, they're hilarious. I mean, I'm trying to even think of, oh, gosh, we a don't, kid. You, clock you know, watcher. Yeah, yeah, you clock yeah. yeah. watcher. You know, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's like when you watch, have you ever watched Goodfellas on, uh, on network television? It's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Joe Pesci alone, just watch, wait, look at your TV, you know, I said look at your TV guides. I almost <laughs> said that. <laughs> said them. <laughs> and then sign up to fight the Civil War. <laughs> so stupid.
<laughs> but it's the same thing. Like, watch for it. Yeah. If you can ever see a showing of Goodfellas on, like, ABC at 8 o'clock at night, it's all Joe Pish yeah. Pushy going, yeah. like, you bunny humper! <laughs> you, you cookie eater! And you're like, what, what are you talking about?